The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 3 Nanshan Residence Section 11 One Dish Kills Four Masters Whether his ant can raise colored silkworms is not a matter for Yun Ye to consider, he has seen colored silkworms raised by primary school students as pets in later generations, and the flowers are very cute, I hear that I need to feed the paint, but I don't know how to feed it, whatever, just give my aunt a direction to work towards, let her not be too lonely, and there will be no time to be sad if she uses her mind on research. Family is his greatest wealth, as for how many silkworms will be killed, is this something Yun Ye needs to consider? Yun Ye knew that there were few truly elegant people in his family, he was born into a small family, and he had suffered humiliation for many years, and it was impossible to be atmospheric. Zionan and Ziobe's background is extremely suspicious, as long as the little aunt says that this is her child, there is no problem, Yun Ye has not a big problem raising a few more sisters, and it is not that he can't afford to raise them. Just like he dealt with Meng's different things, simplify, don't complicate things, in the final analysis, no matter who the butt is, it will not be clean, the ancients said well. Mr. Li Gang is so confused and cute now and seems to have forgotten how he was so violent when he taught Yu Chi Baolin. The old Yu Chi led Baolin to salute the Thin Li Gang, just like two bears saluting a monkey. The smiling Laoli patted the back of Yu Chi Baolin's head on tiptoe, Yu Chi Baolin also bowed down to make the teacher more comfortable, Laoli patted and said to the grinning old Yu Chi next to him, I like the honesty of Baolin, as long as the Kung Fu is done, it is not difficult to become a pillar of talent. Yu Chi Baolin went to the side and brought a huge pig's hind leg to Laoli, saying that it was to see that Mr. was weak and that he had shot a huge wild boar in the forest and specially selected the best parts to send to Mr., hoping that Mr. would make up for his health. Laoli laughed so much that he couldn't see his eyes and ordered the old servant to put it away and let the Yun family pickle it so that he could drink with a few old friends. This scene made several other families who were severely reprimanded for sending gold and silver calligraphy and paintings look stupid. Nonsense. What is my Yushin Academy if you want to change people, you can change people. The old man's hard work for several months can be made up for by you with a few pennies Mr. Lashi's scolding came from there, Yun Ye confessed his sin to Li Xiao, who was greeting him, and came to Mr. Lashi's side, only to hear Mr. Lashi say loudly, at the beginning, you chose the children who came to the academy to take classes, and you just sent the children who didn't make it, and now you see that the children have grown, you have dirty thoughts, is this the truth of being a parent? They are all military bigwigs, where can they stand being reprimanded like this in broad daylight, when they have no choice but to take care of themselves, this gentleman, who teaches the children and grandchildren of the emperor is enough, and the emperor will shout Mr. Lashi when he sees him, and he dare not treat him as a subordinate. How dare they be rude? Gao Ying, the son of the thrifty man, had a red face, he didn't expect the academy to be so faceless, and the face of the dignified duke's mansion was lost, and he was about to leave with his sleeves, Yun Ye smiled and saluted Gao Ying, why is Gao Ho angry? Note. Ho means marquee in Chinese. Gao Ho means marquee Gao, as Yun Ho means marquee Yun. Yun Ho, my son has benefited a lot from the academy, in just two months, 
he has changed amazingly, in the past, the old man at home could not let him go to school with a stick, but now he is clamoring to come to the academy. At this time, the old man realized that the means of teaching knowledge in the academy were unfathomable, and the old man intended to use the eldest son Gao He to replace my unformed young son to come to the academy, but he didn't want to be scolded by Mr. Lishi, so he left. Dao Ying was still angry. Why should Dao Ho be angry, those old gentlemen are not something that our generation can offend, or in front of his majesty, have they ever been half flattering Gao Ling has made great progress in the academy, why don't you let him continue his studies, but change to Gao He what's wrong with having two people in one school. Yun Ho don't laugh at the old man, you and I are both new families, the family is inevitably insufficient, there is no moral Confucianism to teach the younger generations, and it is not easy to study everywhere and be rejected by those old families, it is not easy, but now the best gentleman is occupied by the scoundrel and young son in the family, and the eldest son of Dunho has no way to study, which makes the old man have a headache. You and I are both generals, does Gao Ho think that this kind of thing will happen? Oh! Will the plan be released? There will still be 50 students entering the academy in February next year, Gao Ho understands. The two looked at each other smiled, and said goodbye. Yun Ye was like a fish in water in the crowd, he seemed to be born to be a teacher, several old gentlemen dressed up in black, and took the boy in an ox cart, the old servant, and most importantly, took Yun Ye's newly made wild barbecue grill, went to the waterfall to drink, the first batch of peppers were harvested, Yun Ye carefully left the seeds, dried the red skin, pounded it into pieces with a stone mortar, put it in a small jar, and took it as you like. Mr. Yushin is a shoe person, thinking that his old man would definitely like to eat spicy, so he carefully made spicy chicken nuggets, it was noon when he sent it, and Mr. Yushin was especially explaining to the students the old things of the Sui dynasty's expedition to Goraio, and the students were excited to boil, and they could not come back for a while. As a result, Mr. Li Gang, Yu and Zhang, and Mr. Li Shi ate first, and their food was not bad, but they opened Mr. Yushin's food box with a sniff, and the fragrant red chicken nuggets inside aroused the interest of the three. Mr. Yushin had already told Yun Ye that there was a dish specially made for him today, which had a strong taste, and he didn't know if he was used to eating it. Yun Ye's products must be high quality, and the old gentleman may doubt Yun Ye's knowledge, but he will never doubt his dishes. The students who were excited to calm the hormone explosion came to the dining room where they were eating and opened the food box, and the other dishes were not touched, only a dish with red seasoning was left with only the residue and still exuded a strong fragrance. The old gentlemen don't care about things outside for a long time, jewelry is dung to them, it's rare to find a little fun in Yushin, and there's almost endless food, Yun Ye has done everything he can to detain a few more old gentlemen for a few more years. Now that someone is stealing food, it's too disappointing, and there is no old brotherhood. The only ones who dared to steal his food in the academy were those three, and Lucien, the supervisor sent by the emperor from the palace, did not dare to do so. Yun Ye didn't know how the four gentlemen reached a settlement agreement, in short, they pointed the finger at Yun Ye together, saying that the ancients had two peaches to kill three soldiers, 
and today there is Yun Ye who killed four masters with one dish, and it is indeed Yun Ho Ye, who is famous in the capital. Behind this black pot, Yun Ye could only look at the blue sky speechlessly. In the past, in the capital, I met either bandits or ringing horses, myself that was to beat or hurt, the scolding was love, and if it didn't hurt, I kicked it with my feet, and I wanted to escape from the capital, who knows, only out of the tiger's mouth, and into the wolf's den. This kind of slander is more serious than the consequences of being beaten, and the chili peppers are not suitable for the elderly to eat in large quantities. After a few words, the four old gentlemen were speechless, and they also took the puffer fish as an example, since they were desperate to eat puffer fish, why can't they eat chili peppers at the risk of death the old man and the others had already passed the age of the 60th year, and even if they ate to death, it was also a beautiful story that could be passed down through the ages. In the future, the names of the old man mentioned in the history books will be mentioned as death, because of gluttony and food, and he died thousands of times better than those who died of illness on the couch. They couldn't die for the time being, and Yun Ye felt that he was dying. Lu Xian, who likes to draw people's blood from the palace, second brother Lu looked at Yun Ye with pity with blue lips and trembling hands and feet and was very worried that he would faint. After all, the days went on, and Yun Ye used the excuse of recruiting 50 more students a year to send away all the bigwigs who were eager to send their children to the academy. Men is different, Gao Ling and other students who were almost replaced also stayed, but they seemed to have grown up a lot overnight. The new course began, the academy was less impetuous, a little calmer, through this changed turmoil, those gentlemen had a clearer understanding of the importance of the academy, and finally bowed their heads and studied seriously. When the spring was about to pass, His Majesty the Tang Emperor Li Er finally showed his fangs, and within one day the six decrees were issued by the Zongshu province, Li Jing, Chai Shao, and Shui Wanch were ordered to lead 200,000 Tang Dynasty athletes to fight to the death with Jeli, and the recruitment order was issued. Zhang Sun Chong, Li Huiren, and Chen Kumo were all on the list of conscripts, except Yun Ye. Although he would like to see how Li Jing drove the Turks around, what are you fooling around with a weak scholar in the army, besides, the dynasty has not yet reached the point of sending the family's lone seedling to the battle array, Lao Cheng couldn't understand Yun Ye's thoughts on going to the battlefield. The little nephew is also a general, didn't he and Lan Zhu also lead troops? What do you call that soldiering tie two steamed buns to the dog? and the dog will lead troops. At that time, it just made you a little more prestigious, and you thought you were the number one person. The words were too vicious, Yun Ye wanted to die. Just take a good look at Chen Kumo, his mouth is cheap, and he is looking for abuse. He didn't expect to hear good words from Chen Yejin's mouth in his life. 